Hey everyone, I'm Arsh and welcome to this series of videos where we'll be walking through the steps of installing and configuring Octeto on your own Kubernetes cluster. Octeto is a platform for dev experience automation and we believe in empowering platform engineers to help provide the best possible development experience to their team. If you want to try out Octeto, there are two ways. We have a SaaS offering where we run Octeto installed on our own cloud for you or there is the self-hosted version. In this video series, we're going to see how you can configure the self-hosted version on your own Kubernetes cluster, any cluster with any cloud provider, and we'll see how you can create an amazing development experience for your team. So without any further ado, let's get started. What you'll need to follow along with this series are two main things. One is a Kubernetes cluster, and the second is the license key for the free Octeto 30-day trial. You can get that by going to octeto.com, clicking on Drive Free, and signing up for it. Once you do that, you should get an email which gives you your license key. If you have these two things, some common knowledge about Kubernetes and Helm is useful but not required, since we'll be walking through all the steps, you're good to go. So. The first thing, let's check if our Kubernetes cluster is up and running. And for that, I'll just get the nodes, you could do anything. You'll see that I'm working with a GKE cluster here, which is on Kubernetes version 1.24. You could be working with any clusters, just make sure that it has the required amount of resources needed by Octeto. And we'll be following the docs and using that, so uh, make sure to check them out and they should provide you with all the recommended uh, specs you need for your cluster. So once you have your cluster up and running, you will need to install Octeto. Octeto comes as a Helm chart and we'll need to write a configuration file, which we'll provide to that Helm chart with all the values we need. Uh, but if you go to the docs, you'll see that there's a sample configuration file we can download. So let's download that and see what we get. Okay, I have my config.yaml downloaded and if I were to just display it, we see that it's a pretty simple file. You need to enter three fields, which is the license, the subdomain, and the cluster endpoint. Uh, so let's enter each of these and get developing. Uh, for the license, we can check our email, which should have this license key. Just copy paste it to your mm, YAML. And then subdomain is the endpoint where your Octeto instance would be, where people would go to access the Octeto instance you would provide for your team. So this should be um, a subdomain you own and we'll be adding um, a record pointing it to the Octeto IP once the service is created. So I know that I have the subdomain of arch.octeto.me, so that's what I'll add here. But whatever subdomain you own, uh, like add that to this field. The next thing we need is the cluster endpoint. The way you can get your cluster endpoint is by running a simple Kubernetes command, which is listed on the docs. And we'll just copy this command and run it and see what we get. Whatever server you get here, just copy that value, open your config file, and enter that in the endpoint field. With this, you are done with the minimal setup you needed to do to get Octeto up and running. And the way to install Octeto is via a Helm chart. If you are not familiar with Helm, no worries, it's just three simple commands. First, you need to add the uh, Octeto repository which has this chart, and um, I've already done that, so it prompts me that it already exists, but for you, it would add the chart. Then we'll just update it to make sure that we have the latest version, and this will also update any existing repositories you might have added. Uh, but once we are done, we just have to run this one single command, Helm install, and point it to the location of our config.yaml. In this case, the folder I'm running this command from already has that YAML, so I'll just leave this path to be as it is, but if your config.yaml is elsewhere, please make sure to update this file path correctly. And we are telling Helm to install Octeto in a separate namespace and it'll also create that namespace for us. So let's wait for it to finish. Awesome. Now that the install is finished, you'll see that it'll prompt us for some next steps. It is asking us to create the following DNS record uh, wherever our cloud DNS is, and we need it. We want it to point to the external IP, which uh, for the Octeto service, and we can get that by running this command. So I'll just copy paste this and see what IP it gives us, and you'll see that 
for the Octeto uh, Ingress Nginx controller, we get an external IP. So just copy this IP and go to your cloud DNS service. And in my case, I am using uh, Google Cloud. So I'll just go to my domain and click add standard and add your uh, subdomain and this is the same subdomain you have mentioned in your config.yaml if you remember we added arsh.octeto.me but this needs to be a wildcard so we'll add a wildcard entry before it and just copy paste the ip address we just got from running the kubectl command which showed us the ip where we can access our octeto service and hit create now this should map our domain to the IP address of the Octeto Nginx controller and once this is done uh, we have created the DNS entry and it says that we can access our Octeto instant at this URL. So let's go to this URL which it's saying we can use to access our Octeto instance and see what happens. Uh, when you click on it this is expected because we haven't configured certificates. Uh, you should be able to click advance and click proceed through but if that is not working like there's a way to bypass this error in Chrome and that is by typing this is unsafe. And uh, when you do that, uh, you should be able to access your Octeto instance. And this is the error we faced is only because we haven't configured certificates yet, which we'll soon do later. And then this should get resolved. But hey, our Octeto instance is now up and running. We have successfully installed Octeto on our cluster. So just to be sure that everything is up and running, let's try launching a dev environment and seeing if everything works as expected. And I'll deploy our sample movies application, but you can deploy any application you have been working with and I'll just click launch and see what happens. Nice. So you'll see that Octeto has now deployed our application and it is ready for development. We won't go into the actual development process in this video, but I want you to take a moment to appreciate how simple it was getting your application up and ready for development. This application consists of a number of microservices and Octeto deployed them smoothly by building the container images from the latest code, uh, running the Helm commands to deploy those on the Kubernetes cluster, and it even provides us endpoints which we can use to access our application. Let's head over to one of these endpoints and see if we can actually access our application or not. And if you go here immediately, we can see that we see the front end of our application and it is all in complete working state. So if you're not familiar with our movies app, this is basically a like movies rental service and you can just click on any of these movies and they get added to your cart. We have a admin dashboard which shows all the admin users and uh, for this rental application. But that's not the main part. The part I want to take, uh, want everyone to take away from this video was how simple it is to install Octeto on your Kubernetes cluster and get to direct development. Like you saw like this bringing up all these microservices is a complex task if you're working on your local machine because even if you have to work on a single microservice, let's say you have to add something on the front end, you have to kind of bring up the back end, the databases to see that change, right? Otherwise you end up developing in an environment which is not realistic. But Octeto did that in a matter of minutes where it deployed the entire application in an actual Kubernetes cluster, just like how it is deployed during production. So you work in a realistic environment, which is fast, which is automated to spin up, and you get endpoints where you can see your changes, visit your application as you make and develop your app. So thank you for watching and I hope this helps you to install Octeto on your own Kubernetes cluster. I'm looking forward to seeing the kind of applications you develop with this. Uh, as part of the next videos, which will be part of this series, we'll proceed to solve some of the pending tasks which it tells us. The first one is configuring wildcard certificates for our Octeto instance, which will solve this problem of uh, showing not secure and the privacy message you saw, which we bypassed by typing this is unsafe in Chrome. Uh, we'll fix that by issuing uh, a certificate for our instance and then in the next videos we'll walk through these last three steps. So stay tuned, uh, try out Octeto. If you have any problem, don't be afraid, don't hesitate to reach out to us on community.octeto.com. That website is meant for you, that website is meant to ask for help. Any doubts, any questions you have, please feel free to reach out to us and till then happy coding.